Hello everybody, I am mostly Nintendo Guy and welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy 2. Mario is gonna take a nap right here. Get up! We got work to do. Let's go ahead and open up a, a map. There we go. Got a letter from Princess Peach, who cares? Give me my five one-ups, please. Thank you very much. And this is a new recording session, so yes, the lives have sadly dropped back down before. Let's see. Actually, real quick, since we started a new world, I don't remember, it's been a little bit since I did the last session, so let me see. Did I talk to the toads and see if they say anything new this time? I'm not sure. Hey, everyone's waiting for you in the star stream. Okay. I mean, I got another one up anyway. It wouldn't hurt. Okay, now that looks cool with the portal back there. And look at that view. Look at that view. I've been hearing rumors about a mysterious spirit somewhere out there in the universe. I hope it's a helpful spirit. Yeah, I don't think we talked to these guys before. Now that we're in World 4. None of this would have happened if the Toad Brigade had been allowed to watch after Princess Peach. No way. Uh-huh. Are you collecting star bits? Remember, those hungry Lumas have quite an appetite, so collect as many star bits as you can. Been doing that. And I have a lot more than 253. Remember, I got the star bank as well. And, uh, some right here. Gambling. I went the long way around. I could have just gone this way. There we go. The gambling paid off. I now live longer. <laughs> if only it worked like that for real. Alright. Alright, World 4. This has some of my favorite galaxies in the entire game. Starting off with, oh, oh, top tier, super massive galaxy. Oh, I love this place. Seriously, World 4 has some of my favorite stages in this whole game. They're great. Huge trouble with big wigglers. Look at this, everything's super freaking giant, and hello Luigi, what are you doing here? Yes, I'd like to play as Luigi for a little bit. Yeah. Alright, it's starting off good on this one. Hello giant Luma, wanna start it? Oh, it just bounces off of you. What do you say? We grow big here! Watch out! Okie dokie, thank you for the appropriate warning. Give me those coins. Yeah, as you can see, everything's freaking huge in this place. Got these giant Goombas. And he's, and he's gone. Comet Metal right off the start. I love that... I love that we get the wall jump off this giant coin here. I love... I love levels where everything is just freaking giant. I mean, it's no surprise that... Giant Land uh, from, which I think is World 4 of Super Mario Bros. 3 is my favorite world in that game. I'm trying to do a long jump, I don't know why it's not working. We got Giant Land, I love Tiny Huge Island from Super Mario 64. Anything with giant enemies, I always love them. Not just giant enemies, just giant environments in general. We can wall jump on these giant super thwomps. And there's a hidden one-up up here. You are rewarded for exploring. Get that checkpoint. And let's get up here. Now we got some giant Koopa Troopas. And with these guys... I'm gonna jump over this Spindro real quick. With these guys... I can do it right. Ah, crap. Hold on. I'm going to show it off. You are able to get infinite one-ups with these guys. There we go. Yeah, look at this. Never have to wor worry about one-ups ever again. It's always the Koopa Troopas. In like almost every Mario game, it's always like Koopa Troopas that give you the... 
out the infinite one-ups. All right, now I better be careful before I die here. Oh, boy. So to kill these guys, you gotta drill underneath. Like that. Yeah, just in case you were worried that I wasn't gonna get to a ridiculous amount of lives in this session. I'm probably only gonna record... I'm only gonna record one video for this session because I'm, I'm busy. I gotta do some other things today, but... Don't worry, we'll still find some way to hit absurd, absurd amount of one-ups. Hello, other giant Luma. Your spin will work even on these big guys. Try it. Okay. Boom. And kick. Huh? You know, funny enough, the giant Goombas are kind of prevalent in this stage. There's a few of them here. The giant Goomba was in Super Mario Galaxy 1, but there was only one. There's only one giant Goomba in that entire game. And you know what it was in? It was in the very first stage, the Gateway Galaxy, the very first star you get. That was the only time that one of these giant Goombas appeared in, in the first game. Crazy, right? And we got these giant piranha plants, which I believe are actually called like Piranicus Giganticus. I, I'm dead. Well, all right then, good job, good job, me. Yeah, Piranicus Giganticus. And I like that we're standing on giant star chips as well. That's pretty nice. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh that's a big boy. That's a big plant. That's a big flower. Oh boy. Yeah, these guys are completely invincible. There's no way to kill them. I tried to spin into this guy, but apparently I just bumped into him and it killed me. Oh boy, I didn't think this through. Ooh, okay. That could have been a lot worse. Boing. I love that what sound they make. I'm I'm gonna skip this planet for now. Well don't worry, we'll be coming right back to there. And now, the namesake of the level, Big Wigglers. I mean, honestly, they're not really that different from regular Wigglers, except these guys don't chase you if you somehow manage to, if you, if you manage to hop on top of them. Yeah, except for these guys who seem to be permanently in a state of anger. Just trying to look for the safe way across. Here we go. Angry Wiggler. And here's a star. Pretty simple level. But again, it's easy, but I just love the gimmick of everything just being giant. You know, stuff that's normally like just everyday obstacles. Are like, or like, or collectibles are now like platforms you can use, the coins and the star chips. That's pretty cool. And giant enemies, of course. All right, now we can advance. Oh, prankster comment. I was wondering when we would get another one. Hey. hey, bro, I'm all over the place these days. Exploring the universe. Next time you see me out there, talk to me and let me leap into action. Okay, catch you later, bro. Do 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 all right, that was all the way back in World 2, of all places. Anything World 3? Yeah, that's all the way back in World 2. Good lord. All right. All right, here we go. Back to Bowser's Lava Lair. We got a prankster comet here. What you gonna make me do? Prankster comet detected. Lava Lair speed run. Okay. Ah, uh, no, it's one of these where you have to get the clocks. Ah, uh, I don't really like these ones that much. Well, there's a star. We don't have to fight Bowser. You just get through, the, get to the end of the stage as quick as you can. Ah, uh, we don't get the Road to Bowser music, unfortunately. Okay. Alright, we got about 30 seconds to get there. Pretty sure there was another clock on those, uh, 
moving platforms in the lava that I could have gotten, but oh well. Uh, Alright, I'm wasting time. Oh god, I'm, why is my long jump not working? I'm trying to do a long jump, but it keeps making me do a backflip. I guess I'm not quite exactly moving enough while I'm doing it. Alright, let's go. And remember, it's a prankster comic, so there are no checkpoints. So if you fail, you gotta start all over. Give me hammer, bro. Honk, get out of here. At least they just give me that clock. That's nice. Forget the question blocks. I don't need them. I need to hurry. I'm in a hurry to get things done. Oh, that's a copyrighted song. Maybe I shouldn't be singing that. Ooh, that was risky. Right. This has two gates. Okay. Pull me in! I wonder how many people have died from, uh... Getting stuck at that gate, waiting for it to open, and then time runs out. I Ooh! I'm sure that's happened to some- Oh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Don't you dare, don't you dare. Oh, what?! I swear I did not mean to touch that- Ah, oh, great. Ah. Uh. Okay, I'm back to the part where I was. I just fast forwarded through all that because that would just. And I just wanted to get back here quickly. Now, these stupid matter mouths. There. That went much better this time. Goodness. Oh, the snake blocks. Yes, the slowest thing in this game. Okay. This is actually where this is really where the time where the time gets a lot more stressful here. Get out of here. Alright, we're almost there though. It's the very end. Oh no, how am I gonna avoid these statues? Oh no. I'll never imagine how I could avoid these. And uh what's beyond the star? I'm curious. Oh, a secret one-up. Look at that. Alright, well that makes up for the one I lost. So that's good. Alright, let's go. I shouldn't have died in that first attempt. That was just really dumb. But that galaxy is now complete. Can you hand me a silver crown, please? Thank you very much. New comment? Yep, new co oh, oh, wow. Well, good thing. I was just heading back there. How convenient. Okay. Let's go back to World 4. Man, we're clearing out so much stuff. Alright. You know what? You know what the funny thing is? I'm pretty sure this next prankster comment is also another speed run. In fact, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a speed run. I'm like 100% positive. Yeah, Big Wiggler speed run. Look at that. Well, we'll do this and then go get the hidden star. Unless another comet shows up. Alright, this one we gotta be quick though. I think this one just has a set time. There's not like clocks you have to get. Two and a half minutes. Alright. Alright, let's just hurry. No need to talk to anyone, because we already talked to everyone. Alright, let's go. Come on! I'm gonna get out of my way, plant! Yeah, run fast, I know. It's weird that these signs are teaching you... I'm gonna, mm, I'm gonna wait. 
Glad I did. Okay. It would have been a bit too risky, even for me. Oh, boy. Come on, guys. I gotta go. The time limit on this one's actually a little bit more strict. I'm glad these guys are always in sync for you to never to always land in between them. Imagine if they weren't. Uh, okay, I always think I'm... I always think I'm never going to hit these guys. Okay, good. Okay. And again, no checkpoints. Extra comments are a true testament to your skill. I'm surprised that counted. Oh boy, okay. Yeah, these pipes have a little lip on them that you can sometimes get stuck on, so be careful of that. Oh boy, less than a minute left. Let's go. Oh, why would they include this planet here? I don't know why you would actually waste your time on that planet. Don't do that, seriously. It's a horrible idea. We gotta cut corners. Oh boy, oh boy. The problem is with Mario's long jump, he, he sometimes has trouble clearing these jumps, unlike Luigi. There we go. But we still got it regardless. Yahoo! Nothing like doing the same mission twice. Uh, no new comments. Okay, cool. Well, we're gonna make a third and final visit to this place to get that hidden star. And we had to take a guess. It has to do with that one planet that I intentionally skipped out on. It is weird that they still put that planet in the speedrun, despite it being completely useless. I think you may get some star bits if you go there, but there's no hidden star there. There's never hidden stars in any of the Prankster Comet missions. They couldn't do that. Oh, we got the ghost of Luigi here, so show me what you're going to do. I, I don't remember what you do in this level. Right, he's wall jumping up the giant coin. Whoa. I'm beating you. Oh, I also missed... What did it just do? Oh, he showed off a little trick. Yeah, as you're going up on the pipe, you can use the, uh, like, right as it's coming up, and you long jump, you can use the upward momentum to get, like, a super high spring jump. I wanted to show that off in Flip Swap Galaxy, because you can do the same thing with the flip panels. Is he still on this planet, or has he already left? Oh, no, I saw him there. Ah, I didn't get lucky on that one. Oh, there he goes. He flew away. Let's see if we can catch up to him. Nah, he's probably super far ahead now. Oh, no, actually, he's not that far ahead. He's right there. Man, he's looking at it. Oh, wow! See, I see that little lip you can get stuck on? I'm gonna get... Ow! I'm gonna get a couple star bits on this guy. Alright. I don't see Luigi over there, so he must be on the hidden star planet. In fact, yes he is! Here he is! 
And as we walk along this planet, there's a whole bunch of plants that will fill in. In fact, I think the Ghost of Luigi has already shown off where the star is. Well, it's actually up in the sky right above us, but uh, in order to get it, we gotta plant every little spot on this planet. There we go. Hey, you see Luigi floating up there? But yeah, that's the hidden star. Is he gonna be in the cutscene? Ah, no he's not. That would have been funny, though. He needs to be floating there with Mario. In full bloom. And Supermassive Galaxy is done. So soon. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna hold off on the Hungry Luma for now. Let's go to... Let's go... Whoa, excuse me. Let's go to Flipsville Galaxy next. This one's pretty cool. Flip-flopping in Flipsville. I see Luigi already. You see him in the preview there? Am I allowed to wear flip-flops here? I guess they would be the only... They would be the shoe requirement here. Well, what's up, Luigi? <laughs> We're bumping you all over the place now, aren't we? Of course I'm going to play as Luigi. I don't know why I would not. Anyway, Flipsville Galaxy. If you notice the arrows all in the sky, they dictate where the gravity goes. So if we ground pound on these panels, it flips the gravity all around. Pretty neat, huh? And these guys that walk all around, that way till you're underneath them. And that's the only way to defeat those guys. Ack! That thing's back looks so pointy. No kidding. It's covered in spikes. Stupid toad. What do they teach you in toad school? Alright. And what do you say, my yellow friend? Ooh, the soft bellies look so squishy. Yeah, they're just giving you hints on how to beat these guys if it wasn't clear enough. Come on. Wait. There we go. Hello, green toad. The whole toad brigade is here. Is that our cat? He get way up there. I don't know. He surely didn't jump. Captain Toad can't jump, after all. Oh, I missed him. Hold on. Get out of here. Even though I didn't need to kill you, I felt like it. Oh, warp area. Let's go. And I see the common middle there. Ah, oh, it's these guys. The onions. I always suck at killing these guys quickly. What? What? Did you see that? Did you see that? I moved backwards away from him. What was that? Ah, oh, well, I got two of them. Crap. All right. Hold on. I'm gonna get. I gotta get this common metal here. There we go. Hold on. I'm waiting. Boom. Go. I don't need to kill him, I just feel like doing it. I'm just on a murderous rampage today. How dark. Alright. And here's Captain Toad. No scary monsters up here. I'm safe for now. <laughs> Luigi, I was just making sure we're all clear. Ah, sir, we spotted a monster over here. I see him way over there. Uh, real quick, is this the one that I saw? Yeah, I saw this. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, hold on. There was a... There was a spot I saw that had other things. Yeah, how do you get over here? Um... Hmm... 
There's a switch over there. Alright, hold on. How do I how do I get over there? Is it this one right here? Yes, yeah, this one. Okay. Wanted to fully explore this area. One up, nice. We're already at 42 lives, good lord. This is the only video I'm gonna record this session, so these lives are gonna go all down the drain after I turn the system off. And there we go. Very, very good. All right, let's go. And now we have chomps to deal with. And they're just destroying themselves. Cool. Glorious. Oh yeah, uh, you do not want to ground pound into the chomps. They will not be destroyed. <laughs> they're very tough. They are not soft and squishy. They are hard and metallic. I always question the biology of chain chomps. I don't understand it. Then again, how do you understand the biology of thwomps? They're sentient stone. I don't get it. Mario World's weird. I'm just gonna wait for these guys to keep colliding because I want more star bits. This is not infinite. I do believe they stop giving you star bits after a certain amount of time. Like now, all right. They can't have you doing it forever now, can they? Let's see what we got. Wow! You actually got a hit on me. Now I got a hit on you. Thank you. Uh, wrong side. I gotta go on this side. Alright. Yeah, you gotta be careful, like, which... Which areas you ground pound, because it will always change the gravity. Again, I like I like stages where they mess the grab where they mess around with the gravity. It's a simple concept, but it's fun. Like if I grab out of here right now, it would hurt me. See, this is, these are cool puzzles. I like this. Simple but very fun. Boom. Are those star bits really disappear? Come on. Hold on, what's, what's down here? I have a feeling I'm about to go fight that boss over there right about now. Indeed I am. We just gotta take a quick pit stop here. Uh, I don't need to buy anything from this guy. According to my investigation, you must lure Glam Dozer in close, then I flop. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think I get what you're putting down. I think I understand. So yeah, this is the boss of this stage, Glam Dozer. So there's two sides of this planet, but you can freely walk around now. The gravity is no longer strictly, you know, up or down. It's it's now freeform. So what do we do? Well, the level's been teaching us about the little versions of this guy. Or girl, I have no idea what Glam Dozer is. Yeah, Glam Dozer's not too bad right now. But I do remember this boss giving me some trouble as uh, when I was a kid. Yeah, Glam Dozer will freely walk around. He's got a... They will try to follow you. There we go. So you just got to get them under, over one of the panels, and then, then you can just smack them. Oh yeah, so this is the part where Glamdozer gets pretty tricky. It will start spitting out fireballs, which will clog up the gates. Or grates, sorry. Ooh, and it makes them turn into fire. Yep, that's the, that's where, this is where Glamdozer gave me a lot of trouble as a kid. This sometimes gives me a little trouble. Not that it's really hard, it's just very time consuming. Oh, why'd you fall in like that? 
Yeah, because then... Ah, it starts filling in all the grates, and it just gets aggravating. Just walk over here. You punk. Come here. There we go. Gotcha. And now I think you're going to be super angry. Oh, yeah, you're on demon mode now. Frantically start spitting out a bunch of fireballs. How was that the quickest phase for me? That one usually takes me the longest. Sheesh, anytime I see that death animation, I always think that Glamdos is just gonna... Just gonna, like, puke out a bunch of fluids. Alright, oh, uh, I got time to do one more star. Let's do one more. And a ghost is now in Flipsville Galaxy. And we can advance. So many options. Oh, we got a letter. Letter addressed to the baby Luma has arrived. To my lost Luma, if you're ever feeling alone, just know that your friends are behind you. I hope the attached item is useful, is helpful. Make the may the stars shine down on you. We've gotten a few of these so far. 50 star bits, no return address, but I hope I get to meet this mysterious person soon. And we've gotten a good good number of those. Hey. And Luigi goes away. Goodbye, Luigi. All right. All right. Let's go do the next star in Flipsville Galaxy, and that'll probably be it for this video. All right. Flipsville's new digs. Flipsville's. Ooh, now we're gonna mess around with the with the spin drill and and, and freaky gravity. Cool. Alright, so instead of having uh, uh, flip panels now that we have the ground pound, now we're going to change gravity by drilling through the earth itself. And uh, and now we got Mecha Koopas to deal with as well. Well, I mean, the premise is basically still the same. I like that you can just drill into the crates to smash them. Oh, I mean, otherwise, how would you do it? You can't do your normal spin attack with this thing. Which is probably the biggest downside to the spin drill. You can't do your regular attack with it. But to be fair, you have a freaking drill over your head, so it's pretty cool. All right. Actually, can you kill Mecha Koopas with the spin drill? Oh, you can! I'm pretty sure I've tried that before, but I couldn't I couldn't remember. Anything over here? Nope, all right. Also notice that some of these windows are kind of broken now. Okay, so we're back at this place now. I think it might just be easier just to spin on these guys than just try and jump on them. Plus I get more Starbucks that way and I need more. Yeah, that was actually a lot quicker. Can I get the third one? There we go. Right. That worked out rather well. You know, as a kid, I always did... I never really knew what those enemies were. Until I finally looked up one day and saw... Oh, they're, they're Mecha Koopas. I probably never would have guessed because they look so different in this game. What's up, Captain Toad? My brigade bailed on me when they got scared. Why are you bravely exploring the unknown? I'm scared too. I mean, you can't really get mad at your teammates for getting scared if you got scared too, right? No. No, you can't. I missed two of those star bits. Good lord. Ah, oh, my sensor bar. I'm responding right. Oh well. 
Uh, let's see. I think in the corner here is where I want to go. Sure enough. And then under here. N no. Uh, so not there. I think here. There we go. And then... Oh, 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 I nearly walked off the edge and died. Oh, dear. Uh, this one? Yeah, there we go. All right, here we go. How do I feel about music? Yeah. Yep, now the gravity changes to the beat. So now I gotta get these silver stars. Oh, and you can also kill fuzzies with this thing. One of the few ways you can actually kill fuzzies in this game. Which is good, because there's not many ways to kill these guys. I freaking hate fuzzies. Oh. I don't need the one up. Uh, which way does this point? To the right? What? Well, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> okay. So you go down. There we go. And that's all five. Now we just gotta get to the center. That's also, a uh, fun fact, that's also one of the only times that, like, the star music, you know, that's, like, all this super peaceful, calm music. That's one of the few times it doesn't play when the star is out. Yeah. You know, after it appears like that. Alright. Alright, that's gonna be it for now. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.